Hi, I'm Amanda Walker. This is E380 Live. We're here with Paul Chiang, Professor of Social Policy with the National University of Singapore, the Chair for the International Steering Committee on Global Mapping, and the former Head of Statistics for the United Nations. Paul, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for, thank you for having me. Wonderful. So how would you say the ESRI platform can make a difference to national statistics organizations, or NSOs? The use of this uh, geospatial technology platform is still very new. Increasingly, they're going to use all this platform for information management. We move from the production of statistics, and now we're going to go into analysis, management, and dissemination of statistics. I think that's very exciting to watch. What business challenge would you say that GIS has had a large impact in for those organizations? The National Statistical Office, they have the responsibility of doing uh, population census. So that is the biggest statistical activity in any country. The demarcation of the areas, the assignment of personnel to collect data. But just for the production of statistics, that's not good enough. And now I think we are realizing the potential of the GIS for many, many other things. There's now the ability to bring GIS out into the field. There's integration with back office tools, building of story maps, of all of these advances. Um, do you see any of them as serving as good templates for your work in the future? So a lot of things are changing. But I think the most powerful of it, uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the day, apart from managing information, uh, is to, in the dissemination analysis and uh, I think the story map at the end of the day will be the final product that add the most value to the work that the NSO would do.